Acclaimed soprano Heather Phillips makes her Crescent City debut, starring in the New Orleans Opera Association's production of Mozart's Abduction from the Seraglio. This comedy, set in a nightclub, is a reimagining of Mozart's masterpiece with a cinematic feel. Heather Phillips is here with artistic director Robert Lyle. Welcome! Thanks for having us. And welcome to New Orleans, Heather. Thank you. You have a beautiful voice. You star as Constance, the abductee in this production. Will this be both a debut in our city and, in particular, this role for you? Yes. Wow. (laughs) First time at this role, so I'm really excited. So what attracted you to this production of Mozart's Masterpiece? It's a very challenging role. The music is kind of a feast for a singer. There's all kinds of emotions to explore and different types of singing as far as lyricism, fioratura, coloratura. The range of the role of Constance is probably the biggest range of any Mozart heroine. Kind of one of the Mount Everest roles of Mozart, and I'm really looking forward to tackling it for the first time here in New Orleans. Of Mozart's 19 operas, there are five that emerged as the most popular, and that is Abduction from the Seraglio, uh, The Marriage of Figaro, Così fan tutte, Don Giovanni, and The Magic Flute. In Mozart's own lifetime, this piece, Abduction from the Seraglio, was far and away the most popular of all of his works and the most frequently performed. So let's get into the storyline. What's the opera about? Two couples that have found themselves abducted, abducted also into traditionally a harem. We're setting our production in the 1930s, so it's going to be more of like a nightclub setting. The Pasha Salem, who is the runner of this nightclub, is kind of a 1930s gangster and has a <laughs> probably some underground dealings going on and he has fallen for Constance and so Constance she's actually fighting feelings for him and right as she's about to fall for this Pasha her boyfriend Belmonte shows up to rescue her and so she's kind of left with the predicament of do I fall in love with the Pasha and stay here or do I try and escape with Belmonte and go back to life as she knows it and then you have some other side characters that really provide a lot of the humor for the opera. Unfortunately, Constance is more of a dramatic, kind of tragic role. (laughs) She doesn't really get much of the comedy in the show. We need a straight man in the... (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Exactly, to balance the comedy. And what's interesting about this production is that because there's this beautiful love triangle between the Pasha Salem, Constance, and Belmonte, we've kind of decided to let it mirror the movie Casablanca, in a way. Probably one of the best-known love triangle stories of, of all time. So anybody who's familiar with that film will definitely see the parallels and and definitely enjoy this particular production. Mozart was unique in his ability to capture the sentiments of the heart and express them fully in music. And we see this ever so brilliantly in Constanza's music. She sings deliciously beautiful arias about her longing, the sense of losing love with Belmonte. And then we see her in truly one of the virtuosic masterpieces for a coloratura soprano, lyric soprano, in Martin Ara Arten, in which she is utterly and totally defiant in the face of Pasha Salem threatening her with torture, even if necessary, to get her to see his point of view. So this is not just a stand and sing role. It really needs a Maria Callas level of dramatic understanding to be compelling. Heather, what are some of your favorite arias in this opera? You know, I think my favorite for Constance is an aria called Traurigkeit, which means feeling sadness. It's really a moment of stillness in the opera. Um, most of this opera is vocal fireworks, but uh, Traurigkeit is this real moment of stillness where she's really contemplating her fate. I've been abducted from my home, and I don't have what she thought was the love of her life with her anymore. And I think that really speaks to... Mozart's ability as a dramatist, he, he knew when an opera needed a moment of stillness versus um, everyone running around and being kind of expletive in their emotions. And so, yeah, I think it's her second piece. And what's interesting about this role in particular is that her first three numbers are three arias straight in a row. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, the, that's the other challenge is it's kind of like a, not only a Mount Everest climb, but it's, it's a fast climb uphill for the first, for the first act. Right. You're going to be busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little more about yourself. You're from Ohio? Yes. Born and raised in North Canton, Ohio. Just about an hour south of Cleveland. And you have garnered many awards in a career that's taken you in a short amount of time around the globe. What are you most proud of? 
honestly, I'm really just proud to be a working musician. I love opera. I love classical music. I started out as a pianist and flautist um, through school and was exposed to opera at a pretty young age. At about 12, 13, I first saw uh, Madame Butterfly in Cleveland, uh, the Cleveland Orchestra and Opera, and I just fell in love with it. And originally, I thought I was going to go into medicine. I thought I'd be a nurse. And then I would always get picked for solos in school and really just excelled in music. And I started studying privately in voice. And my teacher said, you've got some chops. You know, have you thought about going to school for this? And so I auditioned and ended up getting into every school that I auditioned for. And so that sort of told me, okay. But as I've, you know, been studying and working at this for almost 15, 20 years, uh, it's a really difficult career to make it in professionally. There's a lot of um, persistence required and discipline, and I've met those challenges. So just to be working in, in, in the field of opera is really, I think, the best gift of all. And you cut your teeth in Santa Fe? I did. I was an apprentice at the Santa Fe Opera for two summers. Um, I was also an apprentice in Cincinnati at the Cincinnati Opera and Kansas City Lyric Opera. I'm definitely an American trained singer. What would you say will be most memorable from this production? The audience is going to be enthralled with the art form that is opera, but also really be compelled by the story hand in hand. It's virtuosic. And so for those that do like the vocal fireworks, you get them aplenty. And for those that love the expressive power of Mozart's magical music, you get that too. New Orleans Opera Artistic Director Robert Lyle and acclaimed soprano Heather Phillips. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Opera Association presents Mozart's Abduction from the Seraglio. Performances run Friday, February 8th, and Saturday, February 10th at the Mahalia Jackson Theater. More info is online at neworleansopera.org. You're listening to Inside the Arts on 89.9 WWNO, New Orleans Public Radio. I'm Diane Mack.